Appreciate that. Mr. Brady is recognized for. When were you told about the problems with the learner emails? I was February. Told, pardon? In when February, were you I was told? told that they had discovered there, there was a, an issue with her email. In February? In, in February. Why did you choose to withhold that information from this congressional investigation? I had no intention of withholding that information. As I've stated, our plan was to investigate and find out what the details were. At that point, we did not know whether there had been a crash that had affected her emails or not. Right. As you I noted, just testified that you gave your agency three weeks to determine if it could be retrievable or not. They weren't successful. So, giving you the benefit of the doubt, in March, you knew these emails were not available. Why didn't you inform this congressional investigation then? As I told you, I, my goal was to, in fact, determine all of the facts so we could give you a full report. As I noted earlier this yes. week, we, earlier this yes. week, we provided you informed uh, the Treasury. The in do I get to answer the question? Could the witness regular, answer the question? You know, look, regular order, Mr. Levin. The gentleman from Texas has the time, and it, he is questioning appropriately. So please, no more interruptions. Regular order allows a witness to answer a question. Regular order allows a witness to conduct his questioning as he sees fit. This committee has given broad latitude to members of both parties to do that. Mr. The Chairman, time parliamentary will be restored yeah. to Mr. Brady. Mr. Chairman, Brady parliamentary, will continue. Parliamentary, uh, parliamentary inquiry, Mr. Chairman. The gentleman will state his parliamentary inquiry. Under the rules of the House, uh, Every member has five minutes to uh, post questions to the witness, and the witness is given an opportunity and a right to respond. Uh, is the chairman saying that the witness does not have a right to respond to the question? We are, the, the gentleman has had plenty of time to respond. That is not a parliamentary inquiry. Mr. Brady has the time. Mr. Chairman, my question is, does the, does the witness have a right to respond the, to the, the question? The gentleman has not stated a parliamentary inquiry. The gentleman from Texas. You knew in March. Start again with the question. Yet you withheld the information from this congressional investigation. And... In May, you assured this committee that all of Ms. Lerner's emails would be provided to us, yet you knew that that was not possible. No, in fact, I knew that, in fact, we would provide you all the Loris Lerner emails that we had. You already knew in March they were not retrievable. A, you didn't inform the congressional investigation. B, two months later, you told us you would provide all the emails without limitations, by, and you knew you didn't have them. By March, I did not know that they were not retrievable, and in fact, you, we have you retrieved, just 20, we have re, we have retrieved 24,000 of those emails. That, that was the case. You knew. And in April, your agency informed Treasury about the problem, and Treasury agreed with you that Congress should be told as soon as it was able to. Our, Yet our, you didn't provide the information. And then you assured us you would provide all the emails without limitation, with no mention that you then knew two, three months into this that they weren't retrievable. As noted, and I think your record should make it clear, all of this issue is a result of our providing you a public and fulsome document about this matter. So we have not been hiding Mr. It from Commissioner, you. sending a letter months after you knew the emails were supposedly lost withholding the information from the investigation. You were aware there was a congressional investigation, I was aware there was an investigation. So you withheld the information. We did not withhold the information. You misled Congress we in May when you said those emails would be provided. We have provided you the information, and it turns out you've had the information for some time. Mr. Commissioner, you did not tell me under oath that you told us in February, in March, in April, in May, that the information was lost. That was just what you said. Tell us that again. Uh, that in we knew February, that. March, well, I did not know if any information was lost. Yet, your agency had already in April communicated with Treasury Department about the problem. And the letter we have from Treasury says we agreed with the IRS that it should inform Congress as soon as it is able. That, that is the letter today that exactly disputes what you just told us under oath. Exactly disputes it. That letter from Treasury reveals and provides to you all of the lowest learner emails so that there is no issue that any lowest learner email Mr. provided Fitz to anyone Payne, outside. Mr. Fitzpain, Assistant Secretary for Legislative Affairs, quote, Treasury agreed with the IRS that it should inform Congress as soon as it was able. Yet you did not. We actually have provided you the information. My goal was You had to make not. 
provided us any information. Well, in fact, we didn't learn till last week and then this week that you had supposedly lost the emails, not just from Ms. Lerner, but other persons of interest in IRS. There is no evidence that any of those emails have been lost either. And in fact, as I said earlier, my process has been to make sure that we had all Mr. of the facts when we provided them to you so that in fact... Why, at this point, why should anyone believe you? The IRS denied for two years targeting of, of Americans based on their political beliefs. That wasn't the truth. They said it was a few rogue agents in Cincinnati. That wasn't the truth. You said you were targeting liberal organizations. That wasn't the truth. And then you assured us you would provide us all the emails in May, and that wasn't the truth. And today, you're telling us out of thousands of IRS um, uh, computers, the one that lost the emails was the person of interest in an ongoing congressional investigation. And that is the truth either. This is the most corrupt and deceitful IRS in the history. Uh, 